was. A big, plain stone. It stood out among a wall of more than a hundred beautifully painted rocks on a ledge in a sidewalk in our neighborhood. My six and eight-year-old and I were out in the Texas heat for our daily walk to what we call the rock wall. An otherwise plain walkway has been transformed into a colorful gallery for walkers, thanks to the kids and adults in our community who've been busy painting during the pandemic. You'll see Scooby-Doo, rainbows, a McDonald's french fry, and pretty much everything in between. But this plain stone caught my eye. It had a piece of paper folded under it. The request touched my heart. This person was obviously still grieving a family member who died way too young. I thought a lot about what to paint. That night, I decided on some purplish blue forget-me-not flowers for the stone. Then the next day, I put the painted stone on the wall, returned the note with a short note of my own, and I returned the $5. The next day, we walked to the rock wall as we always do, and I was surprised to see another envelope with my name on it under Mitchell's Memorial Rock. The person had written me a kind thank you and signed her name Carla P. She had the most beautiful penmanship. Her words were pure and heartfelt. Our exchanges continued through items we left each other at the rock wall. I painted her a card with a colorful tree. She shared more about her nephew Mitchell's death. I told her my kids and I love art and are happy to have someone to create for. I learned she loves dragonflies, so I painted her another stone with the purple-winged insect. One day, she left me a pink flowering plant with a note that said, For Mary, from our garden to yours. I can't express how much I look forward to visiting the rock wall every day. I don't know who this woman is, what she looks like, where she lives, what religion she follows, how old she is, or what color her skin is, and frankly, it doesn't matter. What matters is we both found ways to be kind to a complete stranger. We formed a bond without having met. We found a small way to show love in the chaos of our world, which is something my heart has been craving. Isn't that what life is all about, being there for each other? I often wonder how different our world could be if we all chose kindness over the alternatives. Through this experience, I've learned we need to open our eyes and pay attention to what's going on outside our comfortable world. I've learned the importance of loving our neighbors, even the ones we don't know. I've learned to look for ways to reach out and help others. We are all humans with feelings. We are all people. We need to be there for each other and care for each other even if it's starting with something as simple as painting a rock.